Hello, my friends, and welcome to another edition of Bill Swartzky's Super Fans. I'm Bob Swartzky, and I'm sitting in for my brother Bill, who recently had another heart attack. With me, as always, are the Super Fans: Pat Arnold. Hi, Bob. Carla Wolarski. How are you doing, Bob? And Todd O'Connor. Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, how was your week? Any heart attacks? I had one. I had a couple. All right, we're talking here live from Ditka's in the heart of Chicago IL, the city of big shoulders, and home, of course, to a certain football team, which has carved out a special place in the pantheon of professional football greats. That team, which is known the world over as the Bears. The, the Bears. Bears. Okay, okay, by my watch, we're about seven minutes from game time. As you are sure aware, the Bears are getting ready for the big playoff against the New York Giants. Now, let's go around the room for some predictions. Pat? The Bears, 62-3. to Pat? Bears, 72 zip. Oh, really? You don't think the Giants will score? Nope. The Bears, defense is like a wall, and they can't go through it. How about you, Carla? I say Bears 52 to 14. It's not going to be that close. That's the halftime score, my friend. Come on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. i got to give the Giants credit. I think they'll give the Bears a game. All right, all right. Leave her alone. That's her prerogative. As for my prediction, at game's end, uh, there will be two teams of contrasting moods heading off the field, my friends. One gloom, one gleeful. The gleeful of which be the Bears. The Bears. The Bears. All right, it's Sunday, and as you can tell, we're here at Ditka's. We were planning on interviewing Coach Ditka today before the game started, but he had to go to Canada to speak at some sales meeting. Now, I don't understand that. Why well, have a meeting in some town called Vancouver when there's a town called Chicago? Which reminds me, who do you think would be the winner in a war between Canada and Coach Ditka? Ditka. 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 But wait, what if the head of the Canadian Army was a man named General Ditka? That's different. That's different. As I was saying, we were unable to interview Coach Ditka, but we have with us someone from another winning team. He comes to us from the Bears of the Mortgage Industry, Option One Mortgage. He wandered in here looking for Schaumburg, and he will fill the remaining minutes until game time. Give a warm super fans welcome to Fred McDaniel, the National Accounts Regional Manager. Uh, Fred, uh, Fred, 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 welcome, have a seat. You know the super fans. Yes, of course. Nice to see you guys. Thank you. You want something to eat? Yes, a dinner salad with locale dressing on the side. He kidding? Just bring some more brats, Denise. My daughter. Very nice. You single, Fred? Uh, no. You got yourself a winning team there at National Accounts. What do you think the reason for that is? I give most of the credit to our senior management. Bob Dubris, our president. Excuse me, Fred. But you'd think a company would be even more successful if you replaced Dubris with a certain coach, Ditka? Well, I don't know. I, Basketball I, game, Dubris versus Ditka. Who wins? Hard to say. Bob's pretty tall. Doesn't matter. He's playing a giant of a man in Coach Ditka. The oh, coach. coach! The Bob. Uh, monsieur, you have a tiny little sausage? My God, he's choking. Nah, he ain't choking. It's okay, I'm just having a heart attack. There, I'm okay. Dr. Sal, I got a piece of polar sausage lying in my heart. Bob? Fellas? Thanks, Bob. No problem, Mark. What was that all about? I promised Mark a shot in the video. So, Fred, anything you want to say in our remaining two minutes? I just want to say that success and leadership on a team grow out of a great company culture. And that culture starts from the top. It's responsible the Bears. The Bears. The Bears. Ditka. 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 Bears. 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 Ditka. Polar sausage. Ditka. Rockworth, the Bears. And that's why we've been and continue to be successful. Well, who could argue with that, Fred? But I see that the game is now delayed so that we can establish a satellite link with Vancouver. Now, all of Chicago and the other less important parts of the globe can watch the remarks of a man who defines the great game of football. 
Mike Ditka. Mike was an All-American at the University of Pittsburgh and a first-round draft pick in 1961. He was NFL Rookie of the Year in 61 and all NFL four years in a row and went to five straight Pro Bowls. He is also a three-time Super Bowl champion, first as a player with Dallas in Super Bowl VI, where he scored the final touchdown, then as an assistant coach with Dallas and as head coach of the Bears. The Bears! The Bears. During his 11 years with the Bears, Ditka's teams dominated the NFC Central with 52 regular season victories between 1985 and 1988. This mark is the most ever by an NFL team in any four-year period. He certainly lived up to his nickname, Iron Mike, when in 1988, despite a mid-season heart attack, he not only coached his team to a 12-4 and season, but earned a second Coach of the Year award. That same year, his playing career was honored with induction into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. The first tight end named to the Hall. Currently working as an analyst and a commentator on CBS, he nevertheless finds the time to run a chain of restaurants, remain involved with numerous charities, and assist his alma mater, the University of Pittsburgh, by sponsoring the Mike Ditka Endowment Scholarship Fund. Please put your hands together and give a warm option one welcome to the one, the only, the legendary Iron Mike Ditka! <laughs> <laughs>